This episode of Friday Night No Gi is brought to you by No Gi Industries, creators of the world's most durable fight shorts, like the new limited edition Phantom 3.0 Black and Crimson, available in sizes 28 to 42 and proudly made in the USA. For more info, please visit nogi.com. Hey guys, welcome back to Friday Night No Gi. I'm Budo Jake, and this is my buddy Sean. He's going to be helping me out. Thanks for coming out tonight, Sean. Thank you. So I want to start out with something a little bit more conceptual this time. Uh, tonight we were working on half guard, and so one of the ideas is if your opponent has a really strong, whatever guard it may be, but let's say half guard in this example, you don't have to try to pass it. If you're trying and trying, you're not getting anywhere, try something else. You know, the, definition of, the definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. So here we are in a knee shield half guard, and Sean's knee shield is so good, I'm trying everything to pass and I just can't do it. So instead of trying to pass the half guard, let's change the guard. I'm gonna cup the bottom of his knee, I'm gonna post up on the foot that's trapped, and I'm gonna step sideways, directly sideways, and now look, the half guard is gone. Half guard is not affected when his knees are in the air. Now very simple, I'm gonna lift up my knee, drop it down to the side, and I pass his guard. So that's just a simple example of if your opponent has a strong whatever guard it is, make him do something different. Now in reality, once I cup his knee and stand up, Sean's not just going to stay here like this and get his guard pass. He's going to switch to a daily Hebrew guard. Now he's going to press off on this foot. I'm off balance. And now let's take a look at what we can do from there. So let's switch rolls for a second, Sean. Starting. Knee shield half guard, Sean steps up. I realize my half guard is shot. I'm gonna grab the ankle, push away, set up my De La Hiva. I'm gonna sit up, grab the close hand, pass it underneath, reach for his far leg, and spin underneath, and come up on top. Let's take a look at that sweep one more time. Just go straight to De La Hiva. Cupping the ankle, pushing away, and grabbing the same side, only when I sit up am I going to release the ankle and grip. Notice I'm re really close to his knee here. Sean has uh, long legs and a wide stride, but since I'm sitting up so close to him, I can reach his far hip, spin underneath. He has no base here, so I'm holding his arm. His shoulder hits the mat. I follow him up and come up on top. Start back from half guard. Add one more thing onto this. He stands up, switch to De La Hiva, push his leg, sweep. Now, as you notice, I'm still going to be in half guard here. So now, instead of passing, let's add another submission. I'm going to keep his knee below my arms, push down, keep hips heavy, and now we have a nice little knee bar. I first learned that from from Gokor, but now uh, a lot of guys, including Bernardo Faria, Ali Geddes, and a lot of guys are getting that in competition. Really good way to submit your opponent without having to pass his guard. So the whole thing in sequence, in motion. Hey guys, that was the lesson for today. Remember, if your opponent has a really strong guard, whatever it is, make him change the guard. Chances are, if he put you in a guard, that's his favorite one. Make him do his second favorite or his third favorite guard, and that'll be easier to pass. Thanks again, Sean. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time on Friday Night No Geek.